The India Association of Greenville is hosting India Day this Saturday. It is an all-day celebration of culture, fashion, food, and more. We've got Rohit Kale and Seema Mathur here joining us in studio with all the details. Welcome to you both. Glad you're here. Thank you. Thank you, Margaret. Um, to celebrate this anniversary or India's independence from the United Kingdom, um, talk about the significance of the Independence Day, how you traditionally celebrate. Well, so 15th August 1947, when India got its independence after 150 years of British rule. So it's a very big thing for mm -hmm. us. So this is now our 78th year good. of celebration of India's independence. And, and you create such a, a festive environment. You're sharing your culture and you've brought all these pieces um, in studio to kind of learn about. First though, let's talk about each of your clothing. Rohit, what do you have on? Well, so this is, this is traditional clothing mm -hmm. from one of the states in India called Maharashtra. So we, this is whenever we have celebration, we kind of wear these type of clothes. These are like more of cotton with all uh -huh. those things. We call this as a pagadi, which is more of like, you know, showing that princely uh, outlook Absolutely. and all that. Okay, and Seema, yeah. you're sorry, you were arranging oh it just so. Oh my God, so you gotta have a sorry. Six yeah. yards of fabric to be draped. Yeah. And it takes a lot of effort. But it is something which every Indian woman does that every single day of their life. Well, and it's eye-catching. This color's so beautiful. And I'm Thank looking you. all around at all the accessories as well. Um, Absolutely. Start, start high and tell me what you Let have Let me on. tell you what all I have. Okay, so this sari, the reason I chose an orange color is because it's one of the colors that signifies in our uh, flag. So mm -hmm. you have the orange and the green and the white. So Perfect. I chose the orange and then I coordinated with this little piece. It's handcrafted little piece of jewelry that is had. These are like little uncut uh, diamonds that is mm -hmm. called as pole key. So we had that with this uh, little bit of emerald down here. And I got these gorgeous oh. earrings. I got a good. <laughs> these are called jumkas, okay? And, and walk us through too, you even brought more I on got set. more what for we, you. What do we have? Okay, so what we have over here are different kind of different pieces of jewelry. As you know, gold is extremely popular in okay. India. You got to have your gold bangles. You got to have lots of gold. You have to have gold, gold. So I got a little gold set out there. And then look at look at this gorgeous little earring. These are based in silver. It's like a metal silver that they do Beautiful. that in there. And, and, and we got... Get into these. What do we oh do? Oh my God, the bindis. The bindis. Tell the us bindis. about. The bindis. The bindis. Earlier days, what we would do is use a little piece of uh, red uh, kumkum is what it was called mm -hmm. and that's how they used to put that but these days they have stick-ons oh beautiful and these are gorgeous little bindis and they have in different colors different styles different things you know all that is and, there and the idea i mean overall this is it's festive, it's celebratory. Absolutely. Why wouldn't you be bright and beautiful, right? Absolutely. And look at my little portlies. These are called little portlies. Uh -huh. These are beautiful. little purses that you carry on. Like, you know, you uh -huh. don't want to hold a big bag thing. You have a little purse. You carry on a little phone in that, a little lipstick, and I then you're good it. to go with You're that. going to be an eye-catching group for sure. There's plenty Absolutely. more even beside me. But a lot of people are going, what about the food? There's going to be a good oh amount of food God, there. And you're an yes. expert in that. Tell us, tell us about your background. Absolutely. Okay. Food. We are having food showcase from all our local vendors mm -hmm. over here in the city. And your restaurant. And my restaurant, Percy's Indian mm -hmm. Grill. I'm very oh, happy geez. and I'm blessed to be part of it. Now, this is your tikka masala. I mean, everybody loves butter chicken and chicken tikka masala, mm -hmm. okay? It comes from the north part of India. You know the history of tikka masala? No. Okay. The Britishers wanted, we made the tikkas, which is the chicken, in the tandoor which is a clay oven so it is a dry item but the Britishers liked things saucy and creamy so guess what they did they went oh, ahead and added cream on it and made it saucy all right so you so take that on we take that on now okay. and we call most popular dish so you have tikka masala always interesting history absolutely the next thing dish that I have over here is biryani mm -hmm. now biryani again is something which is a royal dish mm -hmm. which is either any protein that you take, it's layered in meat, and it's cooked in slow fire over a period of time. So it's just gorgeous over there. And on these final two plates? Oh my God, most popular, come on guys, you need to tell me what this is, Margaret. That's your call on this one. <laughs> oh, you need beautiful. to tell me this. Samosas. Samosas. Everybody loves samosas. And this is the kind of food that people are celebratory, they're happy, you're, Absolutely. you're, you're trying each other's recipes and flavors, and there's gonna True be so that. much to eat there. And this is from the south part of India called dosa. Yep. And Italy, so this this is more of a breakfast item that people okay. eat a lot over there in the southern part of India. So I love that too. And that it's cultural cool. exchange that happens when people try the food and they hear the music because the music is a big part of it too. Um, you've brought a traditional drum. Uh, tell us what it what it is and what it can do for a minute, would you? Wow. So uh, this drum is basically yeah. drum in India dates back to almost uh, okay. 500 years, I would say. And this is whenever there is a celebration, we have all those huge drums with accompanying uh, accompanying instruments, and you know we kind of 
go ahead. You know, something like that. And it just creates a huge, great environment for entire thing, you know, kind of boosts that mood for That's everybody amazing. out there. That's amazing. And you said there were going to be, what, how many drums like we that going downtown? We will be having 12 drums and another almost like, another 12 side drums and oh, there are lots of things out there and you know it's gonna be there on the main street all the time and you just want everybody to come and and be invited to take Absolutely. part in culture there's some video from from previous celebrations I know. everyone has a great time here it is it is amazing because I'll tell you something we are a huge and a vast and a diverse country with more than 28 states and everything so guess Excellent. what you'll be seeing things from visions from every Fantastic. part of the country. Well, there is a grand parade, dancing, Bollywood dance party, Indian yes. celebrities fashion show, food, lots of kid-friendly fun, and you're supporting Meals on Wheels, always a great thing. So we want to put all the information on screen so people can find you, and there's a whole Absolutely. schedule of events so people know what they could, what should they should check out when. Rohit, Seema, thank you very much. Thank, thank, you, thank you so much, Thanks Namaste. Lot. Thank I'm you so much, looking forward to seeing you India Day this Saturday, August 24th, in downtown Greenville, near the Peace Center from 9 a.m. until 10 p.m. Details are on the India Association of Greenfield's website. Admission is free. You're watching Access Carolina. We're back after this.